Nashville Clearance American 1049, IFR2 Charlotte with Foxtrot. American 1049, Nashville Ground. Good evening, sir. You're cleared to Charlotte International via the Tasman 3 departure. Burmy transition then is filed. Maintain 4000. Expect flight level 310 five minutes after departure. Departure frequency 118.4, squawk 0457. American 1049 cleared to Charlotte, TASMO 3 departure, Burmy transition, then as filed. 4,000 initially, flight level 310, five minutes after. Departure 118.4, squawking 0457. And Rebeck is correct. Contact me this frequency. Ready to taxi, push and start at your discretion. Clear for push and start. We'll call for taxi, American 1049. Hey, what's up, everyone? Air Force Proud 95 here right now on the VATSIM network in the American Airlines Airbus A321 that you see here. On the ground in Nashville right now, we're about to begin pushback with my friend Emil, who is in the CRJ in the foreground as he begins pushback right now. We're going to be doing an IFR flight to the Charlotte Douglas International Airport with full ATC online at the moment. We already got our clearance, so we'll go ahead and push back and get this flight started. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you enjoy. To the FMS flight plan. Tango 2, Bravo, cross runway 3-1. Okay, so basically the taxiway that like extends, like if we, the taxiway that we push back onto, if we just like turn to the right and straighten out, that's uh, Tango 2. Instructions too complicated, to Dick stuck in toaster. Let me call up the clearance and see what he tells me. Nashville Ground, American 1049, ready for taxi with Fox Truck. American 1049, taxi to runway 2 left via Tango 2, Bravo, cross runway 31, Bravo 1, caution the Echo 170 on taxi in front. Go to taxi 2 left, Tango 2, Bravo, cross 31, Bravo 1, American 1049. Hope you know where you're Tell going, mate. We're oh shit. Did I just transmit that? We're transmitting. Oh yeah. no. <laughs> it's like Taking him in the maze. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. E1, rotate. Nashville Tower, American 1049, short of two left, ready for takeoff. American 1049, Nashville Tower, thank you, runway two left, line of away. Line of away, two left, American 1049. American 1049, wind 360 at seven, flight runway heading, runway two left, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, two left, runway heading, American 1049. Wow, the right gear is coming up. American 1049, contact departure 118.4, have a good flight. 118.4, we'll see American 1049. And the guy at TSA says, I need you to get fully nude, it's time for a cavity search. Nashville departure, yeah, American 1049, uh, 3,700 for 4,000. American 1049, National Departure, we need our contact. Bellman at the end, 15,000, two right, heading 100. Up to 15,000, right 100, American 1049. All right, on the climb out of Nashville right now, climbing through 7,500 feet on our way up to 15,000. We are clear to direct Sammy which is our first waypoint on the TASMO 3 departure. Currently with approach, it's going to be handing us off to center here in a second, and we'll continue on this climb. Right, got 1049, contact left center, 133.65, see ya. 13365, American 1049, so! Memphis Center, American 1049, 13,000 for 15,000. American 1049, Memphis Center, good evening. Hello, five eight two five three one zero. The flight level 310, American 1049. Atlanta Center, American 1049, flight level 200 for 310. American 1049, Atlanta Center, welcome. Thanks. All right, and we're leveled off flight level 310 on our way over to Charlotte. We'll go ahead and turn off the pass and seat belt sign and no smoking sign. Smoking will be allowed Take on board today's flight. Smooth air right now on the way over to Charlotte. We're with Memphis Center. Atlanta Center is also online, so we should have full ATC coverage on the way over. I'll go ahead and give a quick passenger brief, and we'll continue on our way to Charlotte. Ladies and gentlemen, from the flight deck, this is your cap speaking. We have left off at cruising altitude. 
I don't know about you, but I'm in the mood for a really shitty landing today, so fasten your seatbelts. We'll be on the ground in about 30 minutes. Thank you. All right, I'm going to go ahead and crack into some of these onboard snacks for today's flight. I'm going, uh, first things first, Chobani Greek Vanilla Yogurt. Chobani Greek Vanilla Yogurt. Wow. Fun fact, when you consume yogurt above flight level 180, which referred to as Sky Paste. Sky Paste? Look it up. Uh, clear. Oh, jeez. Told you. What, what did Natasha do? American 1049, 718, level 240, transition to 300 knots. Down to flight level 240, reducing 300 knots, American 1049. Switch over to Unicom for 1123. Good night. Negative. Clear direct bullseye, sir. You are on it. 1049, descend via the Phillips 3 arrival, landing north, child altimeter 2905, can maintain 300 knots until uh, Phillips, then resume the public speed. Or descend Phillips 3, maintain 300 till Phillips, then resume published American 1049. So 300 at Phillips instead of 270, and then we will be reducing 250 for A down. Right now I'm basically just tactically descending like crazy. Now let me turn on the uh, fasten seatbelt sign there. Nothing wrong with a good tactical descent in a civilian aircraft. I just feel bad for the dudes in the shitter right now. American 1049, contact Charlotte Approach, 126.15. 12615, American 1049. Then VFL 3 arrival, landing north. Charlotte Approach, American 1049, 16,000 descending, Clips 3. American 1049, Charlotte Approach, could have been advised to have Quebec, plan the ILS 36 club to the left side. We do have Quebec, we'll expect ILS 36 left, American 1049. American 1049 uh, plans the ILS 36 center contact final down 127.7. We'll expect 36 center and 127.7 American 1049. Charlotte approach American 1049 descending through 7000. American 1049, uh, last turn at 36 center, just gonna maintain 6000. Down to 6000, expect 36 center American 1049. All right, we're living off 6,000 feet and now being vectored for our ILS 36 center approach. We'll go ahead and uh, bring in first shots flaps. We're at 1049, descend to maintain 5,000 to left heading 090. Down to 5,000 left 090, American 1049. All right, basically turning base leg for 36 center right now through 5,500 feet, reducing airspeed. We're at 1049, left heading 020. Up to 020, American 1049. Again, 1049, grade 6 miles from Marho, flight heading 020, maintain 4,000 till established, clear ILS runway 36 center approach. 020, maintain 4,000 till established, clear ILS 36 center, American 1049. Sound 210, American 1049. Southwest 714, Charlotte. Runway 36 center in sight, through the haze, direct 12 o'clock, about 8 miles out right now. Ready for a tower handoff, and then we'll drop the landing here shortly. American 1049, contact uh, the tower 1816. 18 one tower, American 1049. And we'll go and drop landing here. Alright, 025, DC Charlotte Tower, American 1049, Alice 36 Center. American 1049, Charlotte Tower, today we're going to call them 36 Center. Clear land 36 Center, American 1049. Alright, we're clear to land, slightly late landing clearance, but that's okay. We'll go and disengage auto throttle. And autopilot, hand flight is thing in. Ah, not that. Charlotte Tower, Iris Sucre, 8188, hold it short at 36 Uh, aircraft calling signal from you. Iris Sucre, 8188. Iris Sucre, 8188, Charlotte Tower, oh hold short at 36 Center. Uh, uh, traffic's on, uh, just over the numbers now. AP-188, probably 3-6 Definitely did not just touch down short of the numbers. And Charlotte Tower, Right one, Right ground point nine, American 1049. Okay, we'll take the sharp right turn here. Maybe that might lead a little bit of an ta easier taxi for us. And we'll switch over to ground 121.9. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, quick after landing checklist. We'll bring the speed brakes down. 
flaps up, landing lights off, taxi lights on, and strobe light off, anti-ice and pitot you can come off as well. After landing checklist complete. Charlotte Ground American 1049, clear 36 right, Victor 5. Again, 1049, Charlotte Ground, hello, uh, Gates via Echo, have a good night. Gates via Echo, American 1049, good night. How was your landing, Chief? Oh, dude, I hated everything about that. I absolutely hate shit. I may or may not have touched down short of the runway. All right, at the gate, shut down, checklist, taxi lights off, seatbelt sign off, go to the pedestal and left and right, starter switches off. In some of these freeware Airbus add-ons that I tend to fly pretty often, you have to make sure that these three switches here are turned off. That landing that you just saw, they were turned on, which created a delayed sort of a lag effect between the inputs that I was making and the actual flight path of the plane. Pilot error, ultimately, I got written up, fired immediately from American Airlines for touching down short of the runway in otherwise normal weather conditions, so I will be looking for new employment, but just wanted to mention that, and now I am going to redeem myself by showing you what a landing looks like when those control switches are actually turned off. Up to in reverse. Hey, what's up, YouTube? Carlito here. Merch available, airforceproud95.store, code BUTTER for 15% off. Some guy said, nice shirt to me last week, and I said, thanks. Do you watch? And he said, watch what? That'll be it for me, though. Thanks for watching the video. I'll see you next time. Oh, my God bless America. God bless America. Early stall warning. Positive rate. Gear is coming up. We are not off to a good start. Purely hand-flying this thing from now on. Autopilot, never heard of it.